We love our new backyard and have spent so much time together out here, but we've discovered two small problems, the sunlight during the day and not having enough light at night. So I'm gonna rectify the situation with these string lights and these store-bought planters and a little bit of concrete, four by four post. It's gonna be magical. I'm gonna leave room on top of the concrete that's gonna go down in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark how high I want the concrete to come up. That way there's room at the top for dirt and plants. I'm applying the silicone caulk in all of the corners and crevices so that the concrete doesn't seep out all over the patio. Okay, it's time for the heavy lifting to get the four by four post into the planters. So bring your muscles. How do bodybuilders pose? does it. All right, will it stand by itself? Kind of. I'm using fast setting concrete so I don't have to brace the post while it's drying, but also I can add the water right into the hole and I don't even have to mix it. Up. All right, the stuff sets up in about 20 minutes, so I have a little bit of time to make sure it's nice and plumb before it does. I have these screw hooks I'm going to put in the side of the post to hang the lights and the shade sail from. I'm gonna put the same thing on my carport on the other side so that we have a nice little drape. shade cloth roughly in the center of our patio so now I can get a measurement between the corners of the shade cloth and my new awesome looking planters and the hooks because I'm going to cut stainless steel cable that will connect the shade cloth to the post and to the carport on the other side and I'm going to use turnbuckles to make sure it's nice and tight. it back through the shade and we use a clamp. All right, and I'm just gonna hand tighten this for now until I get all the other sides in place and then I can really tighten it down once I get it fine-tuned. a huge relief just to get it to this stage where it's suspended in the air. Now I'm going to go around to each corner and fine tune and tighten it up. Hopefully my tall husband can fit underneath and get all these clamps tightened before I move on to tightening the turnbuckles. All right, to get the most out of your turnbuckle, you need both of the bolts to be all the way out of the center because as you turn the center to tighten it, it'll eat up both the bolts. This shade cloth was actually a hand-me-down from my sister, and we used it at our last house during the great lockdown of 2020, but we attached it to our roof with chip clips to cover our deck, so I'm glad we're able to upgrade it at this house, but we're gonna take things a step further and add some party lights. thought about running a separate cable and going straight from my hooks, but I think attaching the lights to the shade cloth would be a much more streamlined look. I'm so excited that for less than $200, I was basically able to create a roof for our patio. 
Now it's not gonna be able to shade the entire patio, the entire length of a day, but we'll get a lot more use out here and really enjoy some outdoor living. I have big plans for our patio, but that's gonna have to wait a few years. So I think this solution will tide us over. Thanks so much for checking in.